yo. What's good? Y'all already know what it is, man. This one here, man. It's about, it's about your boy Bird, man. I mean, I ain't really got to say too much about this uh, situation. I mean, I'm going to let the videos and stuff like that. But, you know, we had to mention him because, you know, he's always with Jay-Z, you know, and Diddy and whatnot. And, you know, how he set up the hot boys. And, I mean, we already know the whole story of how they, you know, say him and Wayne and, you know, with Drake and all, you know. Tiger, check it, little twist, gutter, gutter, you know, the whole, the whole squad, man, so, I ain't really got to say too much on this one, so I can keep this one short and simple, man, let y'all get the, get the whole thing, man, but they, they got your boy Bird, man, they saying that, you know, it's possible he could be on them tapes, man, you know, um, he go to the parties, he's a, one of the big dogs up in there, you know, and they all cool. Um, y'all got to see this. Let me know what y'all think in the comments after y'all check this one out. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let's talk about that one, the whole Birdman thing. Like I said, I ain't got to say much on this one because we all know about the Birdman, you know, scenario. So it's not like a, oh, man, really? Or he did? Or dang, man, for real? Like everybody knows, so it's not really much to say, but it's just more new information that's coming out since all of this is coming out about your boy Diddy, Jay-Z, you know, Birdman being tied to it. So, y'all check this out. Let me know what y'all think, man. Hit that subscribe button once again, man. Drop them comments. Let's chat about this, man. Appreciate the love and support, man. Till then, y'all stay safe, stay warm, man. I'm going to y'all on the next one, man. I'm out. When did you decide you was going to call yourself Birdman? Birdman come from the streets. Um, I earned that name. It speaks for itself. Um, I was baby. I was baby because my mama never named me when I was in the hospital. She named me once I came out the hospital, weeks or months later. So everybody in the neighborhood always called me baby. And I was born as Brian Brooks. That was my mama name. And I got adopted and my name changed to Brian Williams. I was there when Lil Wayne met Birdman. I used to work at the record store, a record store in New Orleans called Odyssey Records. And Lil Wayne used to go to the record store and I used to DJ at the record store. That's how much I loved that I worked at a record store and I found a way for the owner to let me DJ while customers come in. Right. And Birdman and them used to pull up to the record store and out their trunk bring cassettes at that time. This is back when they, this is before they had their deal. Right. And they would sell the tapes, and I remember it was like a BG tape, and then like a juvenile, and, and record companies used to call all the time, saying, is this really selling that much? And I'm like, yeah, you would drop it off, and it was selling five seconds. Like, it would sell out. So Wayne, I'm just trying to show you how I work with the biggest, I've known them for so long, we all came up. Majority of the biggest artists that we all love out here, I came up with them at that time. I was either younger, or we was grinding at the same time, and we end up just building this relationship. So when you see a Ross or a Wayne or a Future, I remember meeting Future before Future was Future. The beginning of my career, yeah, I was around all the greats, but they were becoming the greats. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know that saying, I was there? Yeah. I was there. Right. <laughs> we, let me tell you something. But, but at the end of the day, we in my, we, 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 it's all one, and it's, we, and his mansion, it's one of many. He don't know Yeah, I did. We gonna tell you something, cash money bad boy, and we gonna stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll see y'all at the club. And then you've got celebs coming out to support Diddy. Ja Rule's all about sending positive vibes. Diddy, Sean, Diddy Coombs. What's your take on what's happening with him? Again, man, um, you know, it's another another black man in this industry going through some unfortunate, you know, circumstances. And so, you know, I wish I wish him luck as well with, with everything he's going through. And, but we know that Ja Rule isn't completely innocent either. Didn't Diddy's bodyguard expose them in one of his interviews? I'm here at the door and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, so then next thing you know, somebody rang the doorbell. We had the presidential suite where we was at. So I opened the door and uh, the dude said, yo, I'm here for my cousin. I said, who your cousin? And he said, uh, Ja Rule. I said, well, he's busy right now. He said, oh, he busy doing what? I said, he with Puff, they're in the room, they busy, they don't want to be bothered. He said, well, I'm going in there. I said, bro, you ain't going in there because he told me they don't want nobody to be bothered them. He was like, yo, oh, Kurt, man, I'm going in there. That, that boy like that. I said, yo, bro, Jesus Christ, I had to come down here and take the air out of my body before you get in that room right there.
watch, watch. He tried to bum rush me. I grabbed him and threw him against the piano. When I threw him into the piano, Puff and Ja Rule runs out the room. Puff got his towel, Ja grabbing his towel, but they butt the naked. J Rule ain't holding back on the whole Diddy mess. He's all about justice, saying if people are guilty, they should face the music. Uh, you know, and, and, and if there's victims in this, you know, I, it, you know I, I, I can't speak on things that I don't know about Pierce, mm -hmm. so I, I try not to. <laughs> I try to leave those things to, to to those who do that. That's why people have podcasts and stuff like that. They talk about these things back and forth. I don't I don't really get involved with that, but yeah, I, I wish everybody you know. It's it's a it's a very um unfortunate thing for 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 the victims of these you know uh, situations, and you know for the for the, for the people who also you know being accused of these situations. You know, um, I believe in 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 justice, and I believe in the you know, the crime fitting the, you know, the punishment fitting the crime. I believe in that as well. Now peep the fan reactions to Diddy smooching Birdman. The way Diddy starting jumping has me in tears. Yeah, that jumping was definitely suspicious. I'm more intrigued about the jumping around like a little girl than the actual kiss, to be honest. And Diddy will never beat those allegations. Someone wasn't convinced that there was anything going on between Diddy and Birdman. After all, it could have just been an innocent kiss, right? Reaching. This is a wholesome loving moment of two successful brothers. If we can't express love, then why are we even here? But not many people agreed with them saying, no, these are two clear in their natural habitat and not you can clearly see birdman uncomfortable now look at what someone replied with they wrote i thought wayne was the only one he kissed and if you didn't know already now you know birdman also kissed wayne once this makes the diddy allegations more believable right someone even asked wasn't there court documents of the wayne and birdman lawsuit where birdman admitted to being in a relationship with wayne and that both were with wayne being jealous of when birdman got involved with others or was that all fake serious questions and guess what birdman man staying silent but meek didn't react so well meek mill himself took to x formerly known as twitter to shut down the rumors stating unequivocally that no one would ever approach him about activity and let me tell you he didn't stop there meek went on a twitter spree setting the record straight he wrote when i got a girl around me i'm her twice a day lol ask some of your favorites don't control me but it's like a high one love to the people but that juicy See, do it for me. I done ran red lights to get that feeling y'all weird on here like devil's lol. And every black blog site enhanced that post to make me seem I change laws for our people. I donate millions. They are designed to destroy the image of black leaders. It can't work with me that you gotta really me and I still will get bigger after death. But if there's one thing for sure, it's that this drama ain't dying down anytime soon. Like look at this video of Diddy calling Meek daddy. Man, you deserve it, daddy. You put in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah. As the scandalous rumors about Meek Mill and you and Wayne had like like a kiss thing going on. Facts. So the thing is, is like, was that like some mafia shit? Wait, first of all, my own born son. Yes. I would kiss him. Right. I'm not. You got a child. You probably kiss him. You probably got a son. And you kiss him. Yeah. You hear me? I always looked at Wayne as my son, and I always looked at it like because I was in the streets, mm -hmm. and I thought this might be the last time they ever see me. Damn. Because I was living like that. Right. So I was like, that's what that shit really started from. Because I thought that every night I leave, I might not never come back. Yeah, I yeah, know, like, the, the industry, everybody's taking the longest vacations now. It's like, they're just waiting, like, God damn it. I'll be back when this shit is over. But that's their way of kind of getting out of having to say anything. So I don't know if that's what it is, or perhaps these niggas are sh in bricks. Because they were involved in the fucking party. When Diddy said, yo, why you don't want to party with me, Fab? And you said, I do party with you, Diddy. And he said, nah, man, I'm talking about party party. What the fuck did that mean? If you address it, some niggas are going to say you look more guilty. If you, if you don't address it, you definitely look guilty. If you break down anything that happened, you might hurt yourself later in court. If you stay silent... You look like you're hiding. I don't know, nigga. But I, I do think a simple, yo, them are lying. Like that tweet alone. I don't care how much I'm paying a lawyer. I, I reserve the right to get that off. I just had a question. I'm just trying to tell all these young cats out there trying to come up, you know, like, where do you think they got to go to? From your point of view, you know what I'm saying? What is the best advice you could give them? Because I'll be telling them, like, my best advice is they got to do it their whole new way different way like, like like they from another planet but coming from you coming from the man of, of of men right now tell them something tell them something good i mean 
First of all, you fuck stay away from me, diddy bop motherfuckers. You motherfuckers dancing all on the motherfucking stage and shit. They want your ass. We call them astronauts. So be afraid. Be very afraid. You really ain't built for the game. Or something. Something. Something so, like that. Don't be trying to be famous. Like you gonna run into a motherfucker like that.